Welcome to another Movie Lingo Trailer Talk. I'm Eddie Lingo. I'm David. I'm Snap Cupcake. And today we're going to discuss Southpaw and Creed. Uh, starting with Southpaw. Uh, basically, just from what I've seen from the trailer, uh, Southpaw seems like a, a boxer that's at the height of his career, his prime. He's got everything going for him. Um, a rival boxer or, or someone who's looking to try and take the title from him taunts him well enough to pull him into an incident that has uh, the repercussion of him losing his wife. Uh, and then from there, there seems to be uh, suspension, money loss, sponsors loss, and then he goes down a dark hole uh, and then ends up losing his, his daughter. And then it becomes a comeback story. Um, so we're going to discuss that trailer, starting with you, Cupcake. What did you, how did you feel about it? Honestly, there's really not much about the trailer that I actually enjoyed. No. Uh, everything that we've seen there, we've seen it before. You know, it's, you start from the top and you're down this spiral and you keep going lower and lower. And then eventually you get a second chance and then you redeem yourself. It's something you've seen so many times. It doesn't really, I guess, revolutionize anything as far as that genre goes. So that's a no for me. There's no, so it no, didn't really... No. Movie. I, I get you on that one. I'd rather watch Rocky. <laughs> All right, David, uh, let me ask you, sir, how did, how did you feel about the trailer? Um, judging by the trailer, yeah, I mean, I liked it. I liked the trailer. It's a movie I would watch. I'm not really excited about it. I'm more excited about Creed. But um, but funny you said that. I mean, you said that the, the whole um, nothing new, and the, but that, I mean, that's, I mean, the similar kind of thing to Rocky, too, you know, yeah. down and up. But, um, I mean, the only thing really, I mean, Antoine Fuqua is directing it. Yes. Most of his movies I like. So yeah. uh, I have a feeling, though, that this movie is going to have less boxing than we think. You know, that's a good point. I have a feeling that, to bring the, that up. The, the, the big chunk is just going to be him in the middle. And then the, the boxing is just like the job he has. The, the boxing is, is, the, is probably where everything's going to finalize, where the happy ending comes, maybe. You yeah. Guess. But yeah, it makes sense when you think about the trailer. It's. It's everything in between that he lost, you know, from lose, from not boxing. It's everything that he's lost, um, and then everything he's fighting to get back, uh, which may probably dominate the story. So a lot of people may be, may be disappointed if they're going to get like an all-out boxing movie. Um, so I mean, so let's just let's dive in it. I mean, you you made the point, cupcake, about the everything you've seen before, um, but I want to ask you because I feel like. Um, I feel like that's almost like the American theme for movies is the comeback, you know, the yeah. the the rise from nothing or the the um, awakening. Like you wake up and you're this new person and you build yourself up, and it's kind of like uh, one of those hopeful stories that we get in almost every, you know, not maybe not maybe because it's boxing, it seems too close to home. Yeah. Um, but I feel like it's something that. Um, I feel like it's something that is is what American movies normally try to target when they want to, uh, you know, bring people into sports, sports movies in general, not yeah. just boxing. Yeah, I mean, I, I see where you're coming from with that. I mean, even in the sports genre, this story has been done a million times. But for me, I mean, there's just too many similarities. You know, the fact that he was a southpaw, Rocky Balboa was a southpaw. Okay, that that alone is just like, oh, really? Okay. Um, and the relationship between his his wife, it seems like she really was the anchor. Mm -hmm. Just from what you've seen in the trailer, right? He was very emotional when when he won the bout, and he thanked his wife first. And it seems like that's the anchor. Rocky, Adrian mm -hmm. was the anchor. Um, so for me, it just seems too familiar. Nothing in there really, really catches my attention. Uh, I mean, I hope I'm wrong. I mean, like no, Terminator, yeah, it's just Terminator a trailer. I was dead wrong. So we could be way off, and, yeah. and that's what the trailer talk is for. But it's it's interesting to hear your thoughts from what you're pulling from mm. from the trailer. Um, but I, I really, I really hope I'm surprised. Like Terminator, Terminator, I was completely wrong. Yeah. I enjoyed the film. Maybe this one will surprise me. Um, was Jake Gyllenhaal? Jake Gyllenhaal. He's we didn't a great even mention that he was playing oh, yeah. the lead. Yeah, he's a great actor. <coughs> Rachel McAdams is his wife. Yes. Which yes. we know <coughs> dies very early on. Yeah, they gave that up in the trailer. So we lose the eye candy very early on in the film. Uh, naturally, there's probably going to be another love interest. Usually, that's how it works out. You're probably maybe. right. Yeah, they normally. Or maybe they have, like, like we said before, maybe there's flashbacks. It's true. Like Ladder 49, and the whole movie's like backwards. They could go that route. We'll see. And then you have the kid presence there. 
he loses the love of his child. She, yeah, the very little familiar kid. theme. So, for me, I mean, it doesn't really touch on anything different. I hope I'm wrong. Maybe I'll actually love this film. Right. But we'll have to wait and see. Does it? Do we have a definitive date on that? It, I believe it's it's. Um, if it's not July 31st, along with um, I, if it's not the end of this month, it's the yeah. next month. You're right. I, it's either the end of July or August. I thought it was okay. the same weekend as as um, what's his name? Tom Cruise. Um, Mission Possible. Mission Possible. Possible. But I could be wrong. It may be the next one, but it is in the very near future. And I get the feeling that this movie, they're trying to do a quasi Academy Award kind of thing, like they did with uh, the Fighter. Yeah. Remember the fighter, the that boxing was movie film. was like a drama with boxing. Right. I was thinking well, that like it's, family, it's family trying drama. to be like that. Right. You know. Okay. All right. So. Um, and the fact that he got huge again for that movie. He did. He goes. Exactly. He, was, he, he was so skinny in Nightcrawler. Yeah, it was un- unsettling how yeah. creepy he was, but he did a good job in Nightcrawler. So this for him to, to get to get back into it, boxing. Um, with all of the points that Cupcake just made, mm-hmm. um, you know, as far as feeling like you, you ripped everything and then me saying well that's kind of the traditional sports movie is the rise fall and the comeback um where do you stand on that like do you do you i guess if i have to think about it yeah i mean it, it is ripping off all those things <laughs> but i think and at least for me like rocky is so classic and set the bar that any boxing movie that comes out I immediately i think of rocky true true and you have to kind of get away from that yeah yeah you know like million dollar baby you know boxing it had it was its own movie. It, it, you yeah, know it I mean? was. You, know, you have to get away from the whole thing. And yeah, I think this one's just taking a, a an easy formula and then just making a maybe maybe like a thriller out of it. I don't know. Sprinkling some extra drama in there. Yeah, because you know you know I don't know how far they're gonna go with the, you know the trailer shows one thing, but I don't know if they're gonna. I don't know if Antoine Fuqua is gonna bring kind of like that uh, that urban element to it. Mm-hmm. Maybe they're gonna have like a something more with that whole shootout thing yeah you know and make it more like a crime thing i don't know where he's gonna go with it that's a good question that's good we, we should actually um touch on that in the next segment for sure it looks like he's probably on drugs or something cool. he looks like he's losing it so i'm, I'm pretty sure the end of the end of that trailer. yeah maybe he's just, just doing <laughs> some like, shady it looks like shit through the whole movie maybe he's shot by <laughs> russians you know like training day you know that's how it ends <laughs> maybe, maybe another familiar uh, like the champ russia mm-hmm. all right Okay, so uh, in the last segment, you mentioned something that I want to touch on as far as thinking there may be more to that situation that they focused on that had Mm -hmm. him lose his wife. Um, In the trailer, they also show him look like he was struggling with thoughts of revenge. He had the gun on on the bed, you know, and you see him walking around uh, the neighborhood. I don't know if he was training, but he had the hood on. He looked all shitty. And I, I think there's a strong potential of um, you know, the trailer probably doesn't want to give up too much. I think there's a strong potential of he did retaliate in some fashion, and maybe that's how he lost everything. Yeah. You know, I mean, the the brawl outside of a sanctioned event could have caused some repercussions, maybe loss of sponsors, or whatever. But you know, in the trailer they say no money, no fights until the suspension is over. Maybe he did retaliate, mm-hmm. and that could have caused the suspension. That could be, like you said, again, that's less boxing more story more element to the movie uh so i want to ask you if it goes there does that separate it from rocky more hmm do you want to take a minute and go no no, no i mean uh <laughs> I, I think maybe maybe on the surface it does but it's basically the same thing I mean, it's a comeback yeah movie. no it's a comeback movie you're right <laughs> well okay but um i don't know you really got me there yeah, I think it's yeah. It's gonna be like Rocky. Everything's gonna be like Rocky. Everything's gonna be like Rocky. You know, even <laughs> even even Star Wars. Like even Karate is, Kid is gonna Rocky. Be like Rocky. Well, yeah, yeah. It's the comeback. It's, it's the same comeback. thing. Yeah. Great music. I know. I love Karate Kid. But yeah. I'm saying no, it's, it's Rocky for like for Karate. Younger. It was like a younger version <laughs> yeah. of Rocky. No. Okay. Well, I want to ask you then, Cupcake, the same question. Um, with that element that's potentially there of the retaliation and that being the downfall and. Um, you know, struggling with the inner demons of wanting revenge and stuff. Um, does that help separate it or no? It really depends how the initial beginning of the movie is. I mean, if he starts and he's a gang and he's working his way up to, you know, overcome all of these elements, that's different. But from what we see in the trailer, he's on the top. Maybe someone's jealous. Maybe an old rivalry. Maybe he was supposed to take a dive, and he didn't. Maybe. We've seen that that before right. plenty of times. True. Um, but, as, I mean, the movie's named Southpaw. 
if it's not about boxing and it's about him being a fucking detective or a zookeeper, it's going to be extremely misleading. So I really hope that there is some boxing in one element or another. <laughs> zookeeper. <laughs> detective. But, I could be wrong. I mean, no, I, it explains all the shit on his face. Yeah, all the time. exactly. He, he looks bad the whole movie. Yeah, maybe he was like a. <laughs> I mean, who knows? <laughs> like, he could be a well, remember the movie Wrestler was the whole movie was him cutting meat. That's right. At the supermarket exactly. and, 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 and and imagine him walking out to the ring when he walked out to work. You so know? it could be like it could be it, it could, could be, be like, like that, wrestler. like the wrestler. Yeah, That's it true. could be. It could be. It's gonna be interesting to find out versus, you know, um, our thoughts versus the trailer. Um, and if, if you know, watch the trailer again. You know, make sure you watch the official one. It's like what two minutes? Two and a half. Yeah, two and a half. It's minutes. like two and a half minutes long. The, the official other one I don't know that is, yeah. Southpaw official trailer number one was probably reveals the most. Um, but since since you know since we've uh, constantly referenced Rocky and we are making this trailer talk, uh, boxing theme based, let's talk about uh, the Creed trailer. Um, would you like to talk about the what, what Creed is for those who don't know? Sure, yeah. Creed is the story about Apollo Creed's son. And Apollo Creed was um, who Rocky Balboa fought in the first Rocky movie and the second Rocky movie. And they become friends and they train each other and they become, you know, and then Ab- uh, Apollo dies eventually in the fourth movie. The fourth movie, yeah. So this is like a spin off of Rocky and it's the son of Apollo Creed and he's becoming a boxer and he's somehow uh, driven toward Rocky for help according to it synopsis does, it does the trailer kind of gives yeah. that too he, he found Rocky yeah. Rocky didn't find him he kind of walked up and, and, just... and it seems like Rocky's gonna train him yeah that's what it seems, what it seems like to. according to the trailer they show quick shots of him in the ring and training Rocky and... was in his corner yeah, exactly. He was he did, there yeah, he did yes in the so fight it, it and had, the drum training. It's and pretty. I think it's safe to say he definitely talking, was up training. He's saying his yeah, yeah. All right. So, uh, really quickly then, um, since we're already here with you, what did you think of the trailer? Oh, I really liked it. <clears throat> I knew they were making this movie. Honestly, I I didn't expect it. I didn't expect much from it. I was like, oh, let's see how it goes. But the trailer was good. It was well done. Yeah. It was its own thing, and at the same time, it had rock. It had a rocky element to it. Yeah. They, they put him in toward the end of the trailer. Mm-hmm. They kind of sneak it in there. Which I thought was good. If you're not paying attention, you know? Right. Like, oh, wait a minute. What the hell? What the hell? Yeah, yeah. And at the end, they have the montage of him training. Different type of music, but it fits. It's like modern. It is modern. And then they had the little, at the end, you hear the Rocky thing at the end. Did you it notice? It kind of mixes in. It goes, yeah. Yeah. At, at the very end. Yeah, at the very end. Um, how about you, Cupcake? What did you think about the trailer for Creed? I am extremely excited. Yeah. I mean, this is a film that I've been, you know, waiting for. The fact that they're continuing the legacy of such a great film series, but in a different way. Right. It's great. I mean, really, there's there's no complaints. They added, like like David mentioned, they added subtle elements which paid respect to the old Rockies. When he's training, he's wearing the same jumpsuit more or less, and he has um, a crowd of. Fans, more or less. Yeah, they modernized him. that with the bike, the people in the bike. It's and that, like a and DMX that, video in a sense. Yeah, but in the Northeast, that's, you know, riding the dirt bikes and the four wheels through the streets is a very common thing, whether it's gang related or not, or if it's just, you know, they're his followers. Yeah. And they're supporting them, and there you see him at the end. That, that was awesome. I thought that, right? yeah, so they modernized that and they, yeah, pay homage for that thing. What else do you like? The interaction between Stallone and, uh, was it Michael? Michael B. Jordan. Michael B. Jordan. The interaction between them, it seems very genuine. Mm -hmm. Uh, It feels reminiscent of the relationship that Mickey and Rocky had Mm -hmm. uh, initially. And it almost seems like this is the film we should have gotten instead of the Rocky Balboa. I love Rocky Balboa. I love this too, despite other people. I like Rocky Balboa. But this seemed like where it should have led into Mm -hmm. because his son didn't follow in his footsteps you know but the fact that he has an opportunity to have such an impact on really one of the greatest opponents he's had of his life and someone in his family right that's great i mean because apollo did everything he could to help rocky overcome um mr t and rocky three and the fact that in a sense he's he's paying him back in one way or another i mean through through his son, he's training his son, right. carrying on his legacy, but also his father's legacy. I mean, that's great. Yeah, uh, I have to say, um, I I really got excited about this trailer too. <clears throat> I thought it was very well done, um, and I I I thought 
you know, it didn't seem, the trailer, nothing about the trailer seemed forced. Mm -hmm. Everything felt tasteful, respectful to its origin, um, well done. And like you said, they snuck in uh, Stallone later because yeah. this is Creed's mm -hmm. movie. This is his story now. And I like the fact that he sought out Rocky. Um, and he didn't even really know who he was talking to. Stallone didn't, or Rocky didn't even know who he was talking to at first. He was like, you know what, how do you know all this information? You're just a kid. And then he was like, oh, that's because Apollo Creed is my father. He's like, oh. So it's not like it, Rocky was just looking to go carry his legacy and they forced this movie. It was kind of, he was going to go his own path based on his love for boxing. I'm talking about Michael B. Jordan Creed. His love for boxing, he was going his own path. And I guess he, you know, hopefully, judging by the, the trailer, there was a need that he felt he needed to to up his game. He should go to probably his father's greatest opponent. Well, technically, his father's greatest opponent killed him in Rocky IV. But yeah. he, did. he cheated, though. <laughs> but he did cheat. I wonder if they're gonna if they're gonna bring in more information on what happened to uh, Ivan Drago. Well, that would be cool. I would rather them not. Right now, the way it's being presented, it's 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 even though it's a a, a, a boxing movie, it's classy. I think it's done with class. And I don't want them to try and go Terminator Genesis yeah, and yeah, tie yeah, yeah, in yeah, everything. No. But, but, <laughs> but, you notice in the trailer, there was one thing in the trailer that I liked. And it was kind of like extending the legacy of something we didn't know. Do you remember in the scene when um, Michael B. Jordan's in the restaurant that he owns? Right. There's a picture between him and Apollo. Right. And he says something like, oh, you guys fought twice. Assuming he's referring to Rocky One and Rocky II. But then the and credits, he says, and he there's says, a and there's a third fight. Right. But no one, no, uh, there's a third fight that you guys had. That's the eye of the tiger fight. Right. He's referring to the, right the fight the, in part three that they yeah. fought by themselves. When nobody was there. And yeah. no one knows who won. So right. I wonder if they're going to they're gonna tell you what that happened. That I would like to hear. Because how does, it, it, earlier in the trailer, uh, Michael B. Jordan says to some guy, oh, he, he died before I was born. I, he got nothing to do with me. So I don't know how he would know that. Right. Unless... Well, this is maybe his family the mother tells him, him or, or, or she's dead. Well, Polly tells him. Yeah. We'll definitely, we'll definitely. What if he's still an alcoholic in this movie? I wonder if you're going to kill him off. <laughs> They're killing everybody off. Yeah. All right, so um, you, were, you were saying that uh, he brought up the third fight, which we never knew who, who won. And yes. You're hoping they touch on that. You want to continue with that thought? Yeah, they referenced the Eye of the Tiger fight from uh, Rocky Three. So I'm, I'm, I'm wondering if they're going to throw in a little like Easter egg for like the hardcore fans I hope so. and talk about who won the fight. Or maybe it's going to be like he's going to play with him saying, oh, I don't know, I'll tell you. And at the end he tells him. He or he does some sort of like Rocky fortune cookie <laughs> statement where it's like the answer is within you. Because right. at the end of the trailer, he does, you know, he always gets, gets philosophical and he's like, this is the biggest enemy you're ever going to see. And they're looking he, at the mirror. He works himself, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I wonder, I wonder how deep they're going to get. Well, um, and I wonder if they're gonna run in the beach, both of them in slow motion. They should. They gotta have they that. Should. Why not? But they have to celebrate in the water and embrace each other. But do we really want to see Stallone at this age in slow motion running? Hey man, I mean, why not? CG it. They did it to Arnold. <laughs> we keep gonna... going back to Terminator Genesis. <laughs> just, okay. just CG it. Or just a young, a young buff, with the old face? a young buff uh, Stallone oh, with his old young, face yeah, on it. Yeah, with the old face. All right. Well, uh, let me ask you guys this now. Of course, this is a trailer. Um, it's, it's total speculation at this point. We're waiting to find out. Okay. So, my theory is for the success of this, because you know they're not doing this with just the intention of one movie. It's, of course. It's cause yeah. He's young, and they they can take this, but they will have to separate from Stallone, from the Rocky character, eventually mm -hmm. for it to hold its own, or other people are going to still keep calling it another. Rocky movie, yeah. in my yeah. opinion. So, my theory is their bond does grow like Rocky's and Mickey's did, mm -hmm. and then either it maybe not this film because it's the first one, but on the second one, Rocky's character's gonna die. Yeah, and he's gonna have no choice me. but to go on without him. And then, but he would already be established by then to have a fan base, and then they can make their two, three, four movies. That's my theory. What do you, what do you think of that? I want to start with you, Cupcake. Actually, sorry. Uh, <laughs> no, no, no. That would definitely pave the way for additional Creed sequels. I really don't want Rocky to die. Because <laughs> you don't want to let him... I was so sad when Apollo Creed died. You don't take away Rocky. <laughs> you know? yeah, if he dies, he dies. He's right? one of the few things that town is going for it. Oh, God. <laughs> so, wow, I didn't expect that, that answer. But no, yeah. It would, it would be interesting, but I hope they go a different route. I mean, because Mickey, gone. Apollo, gone. 
Rocky gone? No. Even Adrian's gone. Yeah, yeah. Maybe, you know what? It'll be interesting if the son comes back, maybe he takes his father's place. It's like, you know, my, my father always cared about you, and I'm going to be mm-hmm. in your corner. But would he know enough? It seemed like he was so distant from boxing that he probably wouldn't be able to contribute anything unless he was like a Top financier. But at the end of the Balboa, he quit his job, remember? Yeah. And okay. they made it seem like he was going to join him. Okay, so it's a possibility. Remember? He could be a tall boy. Spitting here, kid. But then right again, here. he didn't have a chip on his boy. shoulder. He might get mad and walk out. Yeah. yeah. It's possible. As long as he doesn't have that little earring again. Oh, God. That was awful. Well, what do you think about that? But it, that idea of... About Rocky dying? Yeah, separating from Rocky completely in order to keep the Creed thing going. Well. And killing off Rocky. Yes, I, I think it's going to happen. I think it will happen. I think it needs to happen. Murder. But, you know, it's funny you should mention that because uh, Balboa came out 2006, almost 10 years ago. When that movie, at the end of the movie, I took it as he died. Do you remember the end of the movie? At the end of the movie, remember he loses the fight? Well, sure. there's two versions of it. Okay. The final scene of the movie, he's at Adrian's grave, and he's like, yo, Adrian, we did it. And he puts the rose, and he walks, he puts the chair away in the tree, mm-hmm. and he walks away. And in the shot, it dissolves, and he disappears. Oh. Hmm. So it, 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 it almost looked like, you know, like, right. you know, that story's over, that. and he disappears at the end. And you just see the grave. <laughs> so it, I always felt like, oh, eventually he died. Like, that was his closure. Right. But obviously now with Obviously Creed, not. He didn't, Unless I, this is supposed to be... Maybe the time... Who knows where the timeline the time is? Like could have been, yeah. This could be going on, like, right after the Balboa or in between. I don't know. I, I, I don't think they'll do that. I hope not. But, um, I but like yeah, that. I mean, he might not die in this movie because they show him at the end <coughs> cheering him in the fight. So either, right. either he has more than one fight or he dies, like, in between one round. I don't know if they'll do that. I, I think in the second movie. I agree, though. I think the smart thing to do is see if it works and then kill him in the next one. Kill him. He's got to yeah. die in order I mean, to separate. Or, okay, exactly how about this? What if he dies guy? with glory? What if, what if you combine the Mickey with uh, Apollo? And what if a jo- uh, uh, B. Jordan in the second one is kind of like Rocky Three when he's like going on up to the like, mainstream and he, he talks Rocky into doing an exhibition fight before his fight and he ends up getting killed in the ring. Rocky dying in the ring, is that better for you? And I guess what? They bring him. back Ivan Drago out of retirement <laughs> to do an exhibition, no. like like what they did. You 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 have some sort of like is, is James Brown still alive? No, how no, about no, this? He's dead. He's dead no. How yeah. about this? What if the angry Russian actually has a child, and then has to fight Creed? Creed the dies, and then Rocky really. Oh, so is you're alive. killing off Creed in the first movie? You gonna let Rocky go? The second go? movie. We'll do wow. the second oh. movie. So we can't Creed. even get Creed for a second movie. It's his, his new franchise. So what and part two is gonna be called? Creed, Creed dies. Bleed. Yeah, <laughs> and then Rocky is the sole survivor of this entire series. Okay, no. what about this? What if young Rocky no. got in a time machine and went forward to now? <laughs> okay. So after old Rocky dies, young Rocky. He's like, I'll fight for him. So then it's Balboa Genesis. <laughs> <laughs> you know, at the end of the day, whatever, it's Genesis. whatever happens to Rocky, we'll still have final blood. So, All right, yes, good. that's that's coming. So you should be happy with that. Yeah. Okay, so let me ask you then. If they, if you, because I didn't expect you to be against that, right? you know. Oh, so not if they don't kill him off, mm-hmm. um, you don't think that that would hurt the chances of every movie of people not establishing that it's a Creed movie they would just keep trying to say it's another Rocky movie he could open up a pet store oh good and Creed can do his thing Betty just wants Rocky again. Rocky can tell. have his pet store I could tell I mean why does he have a restaurant he should have had a pet store let's be honest and then he can live with the memory of his friends he could call it like Creed and Adrian's pet shop and that's it Right. I'm good. I'm good. I'm happy with that. Okay. All right. Cool. So, um, really, now, what oh. if what if they make it interesting? What if they make what if they fuck with Creed's relationship? Like, what if Creed was messing with Adrian? But she's dead. No, before. Like, what if Creed was having an affair with Adrian back then? Oh, Apollo Creed. Yeah. And what, if like Creed. Is, what if B. <laughs> Jordan? What if B. Jordan? What if B. Jordan is is like is the, part, is the part, love is child. like his stepson, like half his he's son. He's a love child. He's a love child. Bro. Oh, Adrian and Apollo Creed. That would be interesting. But I think, I think Apollo Creed would have broke Adrian, dude. I'm sorry. All right. It's a big. You take it. You take it. You take it. Wasn't that big robot? Was it part four? You take it to a for place Adrian? that we're not ready for. <laughs> Sure, let's Action talk. Jackson can take those. it slow. Action Jackson. Be, there you go. Wow. Okay, right. so very quickly, uh, as we bring it to a close, what did you like most about the trailer? Um, start with uh, you, David. What did I 
the most about the trailer. Yeah, what'd you like? Uh, yeah, I, I gotta be honest. My favorite part of the trailer is when Stallone comes in, of course. But I thought it was well done. I like the beginning. Mm -hmm. It's just him like in the back and they're chanting his name and he comes out. Right. And, and he's you fighting in a shitty venue, you could tell. Yeah, 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 it's like one of his early fights. Right. And it, kind of like in the beginning of Rocky when he's right. fighting like in a church exactly. and stuff. But um, no, it was a well done trailer and it, and it it starts and you're like, oh, a boxing movie, okay, yeah. It's, it, I, I, I'm thinking of Rocky, but this is a new version. This is, a, this is like a good copy and then you realize, oh shit, it's, it is a Rocky movie. Right. It's, it, 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 it's done, it's a remake, reboot, smartly done, I think. Smartly done. Um, so the ad, the way Stallone comes in, you love that. Yeah, the, Stallone comes in and the, the the whatever song they play toward the end, it's mm. cut well with it. Yeah, it is, it is. And that last scene at the and, end. And the, the mom from the Cosby Show is in it, so that's yeah, great. Awesome. It kind of reminded me of the Notorious trailer a little bit. Yeah, but you know. Which was just like images. Just and no, there's flashes. no real dialogue. It's right. just images of stuff. Just letting you know what you're getting. But and yeah. they show a girl which is probably going to be like the Adrian. His love interest is yeah. some, some singer at a club or something. Oh, yeah. I, I'm, I'm excited about it. I'm, I'm, I like a lot about it. Tell me what you liked about it, Cupcake. What was your favorite moment from the trailer? I mean, you guys already know. It's yeah. when he said, what about the third fight? I heard there was a third yeah. fight when he, when he spoke with Stallone. I mean, that, that did it for me. That sold me right there. But he, he's a great actor. I think he's going to sell that role. I mean, you're going you're gonna to feel like this is Apollo Creed's son. Yeah. You know? My only hope is they're in the final fight because there's usually one one two three good fights you know mm -hmm. the final fight he wears the american the red white shorts. And blue mm -hmm. that would be it for me right there but the trailer is great man yeah. is there yeah. no shots of that in the trailer of the I shorts didn't, i didn't notice i didn't notice i think that. toward the end there's a couple shots of uh of him going like that and it looked like he might have had the shorts on mm. we have to check in the trailer yeah i'm not sure but i think they might we have, have to check and see well for me, for me um my my favorite part um you know, I had so many. I mean, but I, I just, what really brought a smile on my face was that moment where uh, he was involved, where he brought in uh, Stallone, but the end where he's he's jogging and mm, everybody's so behind him and it's just modernized to what the neighborhood is like nowadays. I just thought that that was like a good eye directing, like don't recreate that Rocky moment, like give us what it would be like today. And I feel like a local, if a local boxer or sports figure was running around here, mm -hmm. It would, you know, it would be more like the people that are following him, like no matter, you know, the bikes and everything, slow motion. And I just, I just, I don't know. It just made me feel like, yeah, this is definitely the director from uh, Fruitvale Station. Yes, is directing this. And I feel like he's definitely, I'm going to use the word again, it's classy. He's, it's well done. I'm, I'm, and I'm really excited about it. All right. So um, we want to thank you guys for joining us on another movie lingo trailer talk today we discussed uh southpaw and then we discussed creed uh if you haven't watched those trailers definitely go watch them i think they're very good let us know what you think in your comments uh and see us on twitter at movie lingo one or on instagram at movie lingo um again this is a movie lingo trailer talk i'm eddie lingo i'm david oh snap cupcake <laughs> all right we'll see you guys in the next uh movie lingo minute and movie lingo discussion